everyone. I hope you're all well today. I think you're going to hear a lot of pitter-patter of rain on the roof today because the weather is atrocious. But I'm snugly and cuddly warm in my chalet, my crafting chalet, and happy to finally be coming, uh, finally coming and showing you my design team make for Oldacena. Anne is her name and I'll leave a link uh, to everything below that I'm using and a link to her blog. Well, I think it's her um, YouTube channel. I don't think she's got a blog, I'm not sure. And her Etsy. But this is going to be the front of my journal. And this was going to be on the front cover. Um, very shiny, you can see it, because that's, put, that's because I put a layer of... Um, organza over the top of her and I also did some lovely stitching in her hair lots of French knots and I put some beads to dangle and then her necklace she's lifting it up with her fingers so she's lifting the necklace up and I've put beads uh, to display this and then I've also put lots of little beads and some pretty things in on her dress and that was going to go on the front but um, I've done lots at the moment with pretty pretty on the front so I've decided uh, I will be using that in this journal or I might have it as a giveaway <laughs> uh, but we'll see um, so I decided to make the front of the journal quite plain for me no pretty ladies on there um, with the kit I'm using this is one of the papers in there. And what I first did was I printed it onto just a plain white piece of, a uh, lovely piece of um, cotton, quite thin, quite, you know, and it, it printed really nicely actually there. So I was happy with that. And in, in actual fact, I might have that as a giveaway with the lady. So someone could win this very pretty piece of material and the lady but anyway more on that later but what I decided to do was print on a handkerchief instead because this handkerchief I found it when I was looking for my um, wadding here and I want the wadding to go in the back and I want it to raise the image a little bit on the front and as I was searching for the wadding, I came across this beautiful hanky. Well, the blue matched the colours perfectly. So I thought, I wonder if I can print onto that hanky. So I cut the hanky down to fit the piece of A4 paper. And it printed off beautifully. So now what I'm going to do, I have my piece of um, foam here because as I say I want to raise this up onto the uh, front of the album so I'm going to stitch this all the way around and when I've come when I've done that I'll come back to you I've stitched around everything that I want to stitch around and it's give, given it a raised quilted um, look to it now and that's exactly what I wanted. I am denied of whether stitching around here but I decided to not do that um, and if you want it to uh, for your junk journaling this isn't for your quilting um, but for your junk journaling to raise it a little bit use a shorter stitch I, I didn't use the normal 2.5 I used a 1.6 and that gave me, um, it pulled it in a little bit for me and that's what I wanted. Right, oh, and I went round the hanky bit here because I love that. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to, um, now I'm not sure with this whether I'm going to cut this off here and then stitch that on there If I take that off there, that's going to be flat. I need this to be flat, this to be flat. And then I'd have to cut down here and cut across there. I wonder what that's going to look like. Hmm. Oh, 
Just do it, Shirley. Come on. There's nothing wrong with anything that you do. It's um, whether you decide that's what you want it to look like or not. But I'm going to cut this off now anyway. Oh, too late now. Done it, see? So I made a decision and I've cut it off. Um, oh yeah, I like that. But now I do need to go around here, but only as far as the um, embroidery there. So I'm just going to get a smaller pair of... I um, thing is, I have all my decent scissors in the... Um, in my sewing room in the house. And I haven't got any out here. So I've only got a small pair which mm, that's okay it's doing what i want it to do so fine there we go you're probably thinking what is she doing but it's okay at the moment it's what i want it to do there you go now back to my big scissors I'm going to come around here. I'm going to go, I went too close there when I was stitching around, but that doesn't matter because I'm going to stitch it onto the my cover. Oh, better make sure I don't cut my cover and the bottom there. Right, now I'm going up here. <laughs> Not the best scissors to use. <laughs> They're wallpaper and scissors. What am I like? <laughs> Too lazy to go and get a decent pair in the other room. Oh, I might have a pair here. Hold on, let me have a look. <laughs> Cannot believe I am using wallpaper and scissors. No, I have a pair of my good scissors here. And let me have a look. I need to come down here. Yep. There you go. I'm going to cut across here, close to the stitching as I can, without going into the stitching. There you go, throw that bit away. Oh, right. I know why these scissors are in here. I bought these in the UK a good few years ago now and I've never used them. And the reason being, when I bought them, there's a nick in them here. I don't know whether anybody can see it there. I can see it and I know it's there. And I couldn't take them back because we live in Ireland and it was a, a Christmas time and oh it's, it annoys me because every time i go like that I can, it catches and it was christmas time and i bought them and uh, the day before we sailed home to ireland and <clears throat> it was it must have been a month or so before i took them out of the packet which i know sacrilege you know but do that quite often and when i needed them i opened it and there's a nick in them unreal brand spanking new fiscus scissors so i've asked around if anybody does um sharpening of scissors anywhere but i've never found anybody and that's why they're in my chalet here they're, they're good enough for paper but I haven't even used them on paper because every time I get out, I get them out, I get a bit disappointed because all that money wasted and I can't use them. So that's why. Right, done that, done that, done that. Oh, I'm really happy with that. Now, I'm going to come back in a minute and because and, I'm going to fray the edges along this side and this side. This side I've left because it's uh, it's already been hemmed 
because it was a hanky. So I'm leaving that, leaving this side, but I'm fraying this side here. Right, this was not going to happen, but um, it did. I started fraying the edges of the hanky, this side and this side, but they didn't fray very well. I, I'm not sure what um, the hanky fabric is. Um, I thought it was just linen or something, or cotton, or but it didn't fray very well. And it just wasn't um, shabby enough for me. So I've started putting some raggedy bits on there. And I want to, and now I've done it, I like it and it's looking quite shabby so I'm going to put some more raggedy bits on there and I'm going to put some buttons on as well but before I do that I'm going to stitch the whole thing onto the um, cover because otherwise it's going to move and it'll be um, not in the place I want it to be so I've pinned it and I'm just going to stitch it now very happy with that. All I've done is a very loose um, zigzag stitch all the way around. I'm not sure, yes, you can see it there. And it really is loose because I wanted it um, quite raggedy. And down here as well, it's a loose zigzag stitch. So I'm very happy with the way the cover's turning out now. Um, this is going over here like that this will be this lace here I've only put it on um, one side at the moment because when I put my two signatures in here I want to cover and put the lace over like that so you won't see any of the um, sewed bits of the spine and it'll be like that round like that there and you really won't see very much of the lace here because I, I didn't want to take away from the um, lovely design image uh, which Anne's done but if you can see this at the edge here that isn't part of this paper design I imported those onto the design myself because I thought this side looked really plain and I had these already, they're digi images I bought, PNG digi images, so they blend into the background and I put those on the side myself. Now, lucky enough, Anne doesn't mind us uh, putting extra things in that isn't hers and I'm sure she wouldn't mind me doing that because it it really looks nice but um, that's the front I'm very happy with that and I'm going to do a bit more embellishing here I want to put some buttons on a bit more lace and down here I was thinking um, I might put that there but um, when I come back we'll see if I did or didn't Back again with the um, cover completed and the two signatures sewn in. I'm quite pleased with myself with what I, I got done, but um, I didn't, I had this um, piece of lace stitched on at the side here, but I had to take that off because um, it interfered with me trying to put my signatures in but I still might put that on there actually because I like that but that that'll be in the next video this video is just showing you how I've completed it now um, lots of well not lots of beads just a few beads I've put in there um, I did toy with the idea of um, hand stitching round here to make it um, stand out more but I decided against it because I quite like it the way it is and it would have been in your face if I'd have stitched round it I'm sure it would have been so I just decided to put a little bow on there I, I had some lovely sari silk so I made a bow there 
I haven't put the tie on. That's going to be in the next video. I'll put the tie on. I'm not sure what material I'm going to use for the tie. So that'll be in another video when I've made my mind up. And as I said, um, all the signatures are complete, uh, stitched inside as well. I haven't done anything with the front cover here. That was going to be maybe her, but as I said, I've decided to, to have that as a, a giveaway now. And I'm just going to go through and show you um, uh, the signatures. And there, there are little bits that I've done, but not very much because um, for my next design team project, I'm going to show you how, how I'm going to fill this journal. It's quite a chunky journal, so it's going to take some filling and then I'll think about the tie when it's filled and see how much I'll need to actually tie it. But um, this first page here is, I um, acquired a new embossing folder. It's beautiful. It's an alt new one and I love it, it's so nice. I saw it on someone else's blog, uh, someone else's YouTube channel and I did ask them, I left a message to say um, what was the um, embossing folder because I loved it but they didn't get back to me sadly and I just trolled um, flowers, embossing folders and I came up with it and found it. So um, that's the alt new one, I put a couple of things there but there's hardly anything in here. It's all ready for me to put all my embellishments. I, th I was sure I was going to put that there, but I didn't um, stick it down or anything. I just put it with a little um, repositionable tape just to show me do I want it there. I put a little bit of netting behind and I think I do, so I'll, I'll do something with that. Just little fiddly bits I've put in just so that it's not so plain. Oh and this um, postcard here, I love this postcard. I think I think a friend gave it to me, I can't remember actually. I've had it a little while now and it, it, it is actually um, London and the Thames and isn't it beautiful? Shakespeare's Southwark, the Globe Theatre, St Saviour's Church, so that's telling you but I wanted to see the whole of the postcard and I didn't want it to be in a pocket so it was hidden away. So what I did, uh, a little piece of vellum and then I stitched it just with a, a long zigzag stitch all around so I can see both sides when I turn it over now. This is um, something that I've got to finish as well. This is, um, I embossed the envelope and I have this to stick down. I might not stick it down, I might leave it as a, a pull out or something. But anyway, that's um, there, ready to be finished as well. I like that there. And just all pages now. Uh, this. It's the sort of thing I'm going to do for filling this journal. Um, Anne actually has lots of these, um, I think they're, um, I, I'm not sure what you'd call them actually, they're um, fabric swatches, you display fabric on them or buttons or whatever, but I'm going to do a few of these and, and I've just put a bit of lace in there to show me what I want to do. Um, I have done one here, but this is um, this won't go in here because it doesn't match anything really. It's um, the wrong papers and things. But this is the sort of thing that I'm, I'm going to put in here so that there's lots of lace and interest in there because that's... I love lace and I love stitching and just doing raggedies. So this is the type of thing I want to be putting in there. But as I said, that will be my next design team project and video and show you how I make 
my embellishments to go in anywhere. So that would be something like that. And as I say, it's there's hardly anything. There's little things. This I like. Um, I had to do this because I ordered a new stamp and it was this Tiffany & Co stamp. And you know what you like when you get something new. I had to stamp on. So I stamped onto some fabric, did a zigzag sit stitch around it. And it's only like a flappy po pocket there. I want to put something there as well but this is all how how I'm going to embellish it and fill it so I shall be putting something there as well these are the pa these papers come with um, the digi set that I got off old Lucina but this doesn't these are just papers and vellums that I had anyway that's the center here of the first signature and as you as you go through see you can see i have a lot to do of embellishing i like to do a lot of stamping as well so these pages cry out for it um even the ones with gesso i've gessoed loads of well i've just sewed most of all the pages actually just to give it that shabby chic look and i love vellum so Oh, this one I've already done. And again, I've used the Tiffany stamp. Um, I just had a play around with it everywhere and I loved it. So I thought, oh, well, they can go, while they're there, they can go in there. And another one of those um, swatches and just a raggedy. I think this, um, can't remember who it was actually. I think it was Sam Paul, but I can't remember um, that one there, but it's just to remind me that that one was a pocket and a bit of the um, paper must have had some glue on it because that's come off on the other side, but I don't mind that. Um, that's the end of the, sig the first signature there and this is a pocket. As you can see this side, there's some material there. I'm, just going to leave that I might put something on it or I might stamp on it but this will all be in the next video what I'm going to do this doily here I stamped onto that doily. I know I didn't stamp I printed onto the doily and I thought that goes lovely there <laughs> Look, Tiffany again that stamp I just fell in love with it um I can't remember who it was. I'll find out for the next video or I'll put a link down in the information box below of where I got it from. It, it was um, from um, somebody on um, Instagram and they made the stamp and they, they put something out to say, Does any, is anybody interested? So I put the name down and, and, I, and I ordered one and very quick in coming as well. I was quite surprised because it came from the States. So I was happy with that. Some more little raggedies. Little thing in there, just to remind me it's a pocket. Um, little embellishment there already. That's when I was, um, starting to put the signatures together that I started to put some little things in there. A little bit of lace already. That's just to remind me that it's a pocket as well. There. She looks beautiful there actually. Um, again, this, this all comes, this is um, in the Digi pack that um, I got off of old Asina. I love that as well. So there's there's lots for me to do. Absolutely loads to fill this and put lots of um, embellishments in there. But I'm going to enjoy it. Oh, this um, doily as well. I embossed it with the same embossing folder. I have a play around with every when something new comes I just keep playing with it for a while and play uh, seeing what I can do with it and I love the way it embossed onto the um, doily that was lovely this is um cardstock here so I shall be doing something with that as well 
there's the middle and I don't think there's really anything else here yet so this is just um, no there isn't and that's the other side of the doily where I did the I printed it off uh, with a digi image as well and that's plain plain <coughs> but that's my design team project for older Cena and my next video and design team project for her will be filling this and I've started um, getting a few things together here so that I can um, make some things. I haven't got very much yet but I've cut out loads of things that comes with the digi kit so I've already cut them out. Isn't that lovely? Even just one page if you put it if you lift just open a page anywhere that will just oh that goes on there beautiful doesn't it I might put that there already see so all these are ready for me to fill in the journal and this is the sari silk that I used to make the bow now I was toying with the idea of um, doing the tie with this as well because I really like it it's beautiful so that might be something I'll do but as I say this is all excitement for the next video so what I'm going to say now is remember I said to you that um, I'm going to give a little giveaway well this it's only two pieces of um, material here. This one I've already uh, printed onto, so you could probably make your own cover as well for the journal and put that on the front. Or you could put this on the front of your own journal. And this is um, the one where all the stitching's been done. So if anybody's interested in winning this, all you have to do is be a subscriber leave me a comment and then in another um, when I put the next video up of my design team project of what I'm of the um, embellishments I'm doing for the journal I'll actually announce the winner so if you're interested in these two pieces of fabric with um, little embellishments on them and a digi image on them as I say just leave me the comment and be a subscriber as well and uh, but I will in the information box uh, put it uh, put um, what you have to do to be in with a chance to win this anyway that's it now and I'll leave you be and I'll catch up with you in the next video okay everyone bye